Hello, thank you for joining me again at Shiny Tree Trash. Uh, this is my second video, so forgive me if everything's a bit of a mess and I'm just babble because I'm very good at that. Um, so um, in my last video, we looked at the Vallejo um, colours, um, a present from my husband just before we went down into the lockdown. Um, so I want to look at the second pack today. So um, the last pack we looked at was um, the Space Dust one. Um, just a quick flash. That's what we have already done. I'm going to do the same process again uh, for the next pack. So um, we'll go with Magic Dust this time um, and we'll look at Galaxy Dust next time. So these are a pack of six colours um, that I mentioned um, in my last video uh, and referred to as the shifters. Um, they're an airbrush range, uh, acrylic based paints from the Vallejo colours and um, these have come from... Um, from my husband he's acquired them from home Firth gaming center um so thank you for that nice gift just want to get started and create something with them but before i do I'm just going to do a little bit of experimenting and playing um just to mention that we'll put a link in um below if you are interested in getting these um online we can put that link below okay i'd be really lovely if you would like and subscribe to this video and um, just to know i'm not talking to myself um even though i do a lot because nobody else listens to me the kids are busy uh, ignoring me <laughs> okay so magic dust we have six lovely colors in here um what we saw in with the last pack is that um they didn't show up very well on on the white paper I'm going to just keep it the same just so we can do like for like comparisons um, but I will be looking at a later date at these colours on a dark background. Um, oh, we've got this as well inside, we didn't look at this. So this is a whole range. Um, oh yes, yeah, so this is interesting. So I mentioned in my last video that I'd like to apply these to a three dimensional form because I think the colour um, change, that chameleon effect, just shows up so much better on that 3D form because the light is hitting that form at different angles and so the pigment's reflected back. So you're seeing that colour change, that shift of colour. The pigment there you can see is, is lovely, like oily, almost petrally blue, um, just morphing its way through to this beautiful lilac. Um, here you've got almost like a rose gold morphing through ranges of yellows to this beautiful olive green and I don't think we're seeing that on the page and I don't think what I was doing was doing justice but we're just going to keep it the same and I just want to build on what I'm doing and playing and investigating these because I'm really excited for the effects and I really think that um, you can get some really nice painted effects with these. So that's the picture that comes in inside the packaging and it just shows the the morphing the the morph ability that chameleon effect between all the shades um, so these are the three packs but I believe you can get a whole range here with all the colors in one big pack okay so let's put that package into one side so we're looking at magic dust Okay, so the first colour we have is Violet Old Copper. I don't think these are, none of them are repeated in the, um, in the six boxes. I'm just giving that a little bit of a shake. Okay, so I'm just getting myself a brush there, off camera. Okay, so we've got violet to old copper. I'm definitely seeing the copper straight off. I can see a haze as I'm looking from this distance against the light. So as I did before, I'm going to do the same again. I'm just going to apply that directly to the page just because I'm interested in how the paint applies to the surface because with some of the last colours, it didn't kind of carry across the the um, 
the body of the paper it sort of dried out uh, so I can see that this one's quite wet it's left a halo where it soaked through the page straight away okay let's put that one down there okay so the next one let's give that a little bit of a shake crattle and roll while I am multi-purposing myself and wetting my brush making sure it's clean so this one is quite white in the bottle and it's saying gold pale blue so onto the palette and onto the page oh yeah that's wetting the page straight out again it's quite translucent just with that haze of pigment and that's really shimmering from where I'm looking at it from my angle I could really see these working through the airbrush and um, just being applied to a ground colour so maybe you could emphasise this um, blue this pale blue effect over a blue ground okay yeah I'm seeing the like a greeny blue um, let's just move these paints off the page itself so then you can start to see that I found with the um, last set that letting the page dry um, just that maybe intensified the pigments a little bit so I'm going to do the same here as well rather than keep moving my page up and down let's clean that brush so the next one I have is pearl violet okay so again it looks quite white so I'm, I'm anticipating this is going to be quite translucent on the page again like the others well like this one and the two um, previous ones from space dust so onto the palette onto the page so straight away I can see that that's got a halo a haze of pinkiness and it does say violet doesn't it at the moment I'm saying that that's a bit more pinky pinky violet put that onto there just to see the intensity so it sweeps on really nice Yeah, this one already I can see is more more greeny. Now it's same blue, isn't it? Gold to pale blue. I'm seeing that more as a more of a very soft pale green than blue, if I'm honest. Okay, so the next one is gold yellow. And burnt orange so already this is looking quite intense in the bottle so I'm imagining this to be a nice strong yellow straight away on the on the page and last translucent like these okay onto the palette that's going can't see my palette I don't think that's a really rich nice old gold look at that that's lovely very nice not spreading not holding the intensity of color on my brush very well so that's interesting oh yeah that's beautiful it's almost like a buttercup look at that okay so that's the intense version second sweep for the less intense and least intense there but um, it wasn't holding on to my brush very well so it's looking a bit more like a dry mark there okay we'll put that brush aside so far I must say that is my favorite oh and I can really see that green haze coming through as well from down here 
You can start to see the sheen there, can't you, as well? As they're drying, I think they do, um, they do sort of glow more. Okay, next one on the lineup is Silver Pink. Need another brush. Just making sure that brush is clean. Okay, let's see what this one looks like. So again, I'm expecting this to be quite intense regarding the initial lay down of colour with it being, um, it's got like a pigmented ground unlike these two. Okay, so let's have a look. What's it called again? Silver Pink. Now, hmm. What do you think? Mm, I wouldn't really call that pink personally. I won't call that pink at all. We'll see how it dries. That's the intense version. Mid and light. Um, it's looking on the packaging don't know if you can see that with the light but it's looking more sort of um, greeny silver almost like tarnishy colour to um, more of a violety pink and I'm not quite seeing that on the page a little bit disappointed personally just because um, I do like really strong vivid peacocky colours um, but let's not hold that against it because that's my personal preference. We'll see how it dries. Just searching in my pot for um, a brush that I'd like to use for the last one because um, the brush I have here is a bit on the big side and I don't want to use that. In fact, I've got one here on the side. I'll use this. See, I told you I can babble on. Babble, babble, babble. Set that brush aside and we'll use this one. So the last one in the lineup looks similar in the bottle to the previous one, um, which was silver pink. This one is old silver pale violet. Now on the packaging, this is looking as though it's more of a, a bluey violet than the previous, which was on the packaging more of a pinky violet. I'm not seeing that on the page. So let's see what this one looks like. There it goes. So on the palette, it's looking darker in pigmentation. Quite a small brush, sorry. Don't want to scrimp, I want to get the colour on there. So these are um, intended for airbrush use and we're going to, um, in fact I'm going to ask my husband, he's a bit more of a whiz with the airbrush than myself. So I'm going to ask him to give um, give a little go with each of these colours and just see and we'll compare that onto um, a 3D form so we can assess that change of colour and then the real fun will start when we do some uh, drone with these I hmm. don't know if it's my brush but it's not carrying that colour over very well but I have got a, a cheap nasty brush there okay so that's my six colours from the magic dust range so i'll just bring that back in so you can see the packaging so that's the magic dust range six six colors we've got two on the translucent sort of um, range um and we've got three sort of coppery shades there now that one i think is my favorite above these two but overall i'm really loving that um gold one um yellow orange uh, burnt sorry gold yellow burnt orange is that shade and I'm, I'm really liking this iridescent one here so I'm going to just roll this around under the light just so you can perhaps appreciate a little bit more of what I'm seeing 
Okay, so yeah, they definitely improve once they're drying. This one is really got a blaze of this beautiful pinky, coppery red. It's actually really beautiful in that t intensity there I'm seeing. I really don't think you're seeing the same thing. Um, but yeah, that's lovely. That's really, I almost want to get my head right into it to soak it all up. Um, then in this one, I'm seeing um, sort of pearlescence um, between these two. This one's more subtle. So that one was the violet, pearl violet. This one is the gold and pale blue. Again, what I've already said, I'm not seeing the blue, I'm seeing a green. A green tinge there very subtle I suppose yeah maybe turquoise it's very I would say it's more on the green spectrum than the than the blue this one is a beautiful buttercup yellow uh, I could just it's so creamy and really want to smear that across my eyes I'd love that as a, an eyeshadow um, so intense there I love this this mark um, and we've got sort of green fleckles of change within that one this one as i'm looking across this one i'm seeing a whole kaleidoscope of colors with the pigmentation seeing like coppery colors and uh, like silver um with tinges of violet uh, but I don't think that's really coming across as a whole. I'm having to really look at it in an intense way. Um, I'm not sure you can see it at all. It's not coming through on the camera. This one is more coppery. I'd say that's more bronze. And I'm seeing the same sort of pigmentation up, up close. But I'm not seeing the colour change. As I'm turning the page that way and this way I'm seeing more of the coppery coppery colors coming through so I'd like to take this experimentation forward um, I'm not going to bother I did mention I was going to tint them uh, with black I'm not going to do that right now I think what I want to do is try it with the airbrush as the paints are intended as airbrush paints we'll try that I want to try them on a dark background just to see if that lifts the intensity of the colours. Um, and with it doing it on the airbrush as well, I want to see it on the 3D form because I think maybe that chameleon effect will, will come to life. And then I want to play with them um, and see them maybe as a glaze over other colours when I do some studies of insect forms because I really think these would lend themselves perfectly for that casing to the, to the beetles. Um, so yeah so join me on the next video I'm going to look at the final pack of the three which is the um, covers the whole range of the Vallejo colors the shifters um, and that will be the galaxy dust that we're looking at next so I look forward to seeing you soon please join me don't forget to have a look at the links below if you're interested in these colors uh, the packs the Vallejo shifters and um, please like and subscribe thank you